The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has threatened to close the tube and shut bridges after a black hole in the capital's transport budget soared to an astonishing £1.5 billion. Transport for London board papers have revealed that plans for a new road user charge, council tax hike and congestion charging zone expansion will not be enough to balance the books. Khan has accused the government of starving the network of cash despite reduced passenger numbers during the pandemic. But isn't this is just another chapter in the failed London Mayor's catalogue of incompetence. Knife crime in Khan's lawless London has been close to record levels throughout his troubled tenure, and pre-pandemic levels were far higher than when Boris Johnson left in 2016. Khan has also bowed to the pressure of liberal vandals by setting up a commission to review statues and rewrite history in the eyes of the woke mob. And who can forget Khan's rebellion against the government and science after he demanded Londoners stay muzzled on the transport network he is now threatening to grind to alt. But despite all that, is he really London's worst ever mayor? Well, I say yes, but as always, it's your view that matters to me. Dan at GBNews.uk. Tweet me at GBNews. And we've got our poll running there right now too. But first, let me bring in a man who knows what it takes to run the capital. Former London Mayor Ken Livingston and someone familiar with a Khan crisis. The Conservative leader in the London Assembly, Susan Hall. Susan, let me start with you. Is Sadiq Khan the worst mayor London has ever seen? Absolutely, by a very long way. Why? Oh, you've, you've, you've started with your with your BT thing at the beginning. I mean, if you start with police, it's absolutely shocking. Crimes. Last year, 30 people died. Sadly, 30 teenagers died. That's the worst ever. Um, whereas Boris... Um, improve things. I'm sure Ken would agree with that or not. <laughs> we'll hear. Um, look at the way he um, look at the way he's run TfL into the ground. He, uh, there's so many things he's done wrong there. He's looking at bringing in a five pound fifty charge, a boundary charge, which will absolutely cripple businesses, um, cause major problems. The uh, uh, the ULES that he's brought in a year early without even thinking of how that's going to affect the poorest Londoners. The list goes on and on. He is a shocking mayor, really bad. And you've got Ken there. To be fair to Ken and Boris, both Ken and Boris loved or love London. Sadiq doesn't love being mayor. It's the best job in the world, and I'm sure Ken would agree with that, if, even if it's the only thing we agree with. Boris probably with agrees with that right now too, Susan. I think he'd quite it, like it, to it, be back there. Well, of so, course he would. It is the best job in the yeah. world. Um, no, but I hear what you're saying. Sadiq Khan just wants to use it uh, as a launch pad into national politics, which, by the way, is, is hopefully, hopefully just a pipe dream now, given how bad he's been. Uh, Ken Livingston, look, you're clearly not going to say you were the worst mayor. Uh, but surely you must concede after this litany of failures by Mr Khan that he is a worse mayor than Boris Johnson. No, you've got to look at the, the situation he's inherited. When I became mayor, I got billions of pounds out of the Labour government, able to em employ 10,000 more police, build all these um, transport extensions and things like that. Whereas poor Sadiq Khan has had to cope with a massive reduction in local government funding, and he struggled to keep things going. It's not his fault. Blame this government, which has made the worst cuts in local government spending, not just here in London, but all over the country, in my lifetime. And so don't blame Sadiq. He's doing his best. I mean, and frankly, you're going to live longer because he is mayor, because he's tackling the pollution of our atmosphere, mm. and that's going to make us all live longer. Oh, hardly can. I mean, I think we've got to look to China to sort that out. I don't think introducing cycle lanes in London is going to make the difference. Uh, but, but, Ken, how can you say that... Sadiq has done a better job than Boris. Well, look, literally, he hasn't had the funding from government that I was able to get. I mean, this government, this last 12 years, we've seen the biggest sort of clampdown on local government spending of my lifetime. There's been nothing like as bad as this. I mean, this government has made cuts in local government spending that even Thatcher didn't do. Susan Hall, how do you respond to that? Well, I know Ken is very bitter because he, he lost his job to Boris and he has forever and more been um, 
very hard on Boris when there was no need to be. I mean, and what you said about Sadiq Khan, when you were having a, there's a video of you and George Galloway talking about him. I don't see how you can say poor old Sadiq Khan. The things Sadiq Khan has done to London are an absolute disgrace. And of course, the, the government at some point had to start saving money in various different places because the amount of money the Labour government squandered at that time, and you need to be remembering that. Sadiq Khan has a 19.4 billion pound budget and he does not spend it wisely. Ken, does Susan make a fair point? Are you just bitter and twisted because Boris booted you from, from the best job in the world, your words? And, and it was a surprise, wasn't it? No one expected a Tory mayor of London. But look, in that eight years Boris was mayor, what did he do? The only real thing he did, he built the cable car to nowhere. I mean, he ended up opening a lot of the projects I'd started, but never invited me to those. He did very little, and that's exactly what he's doing as Prime Minister. This is the most incompetent government of my lifetime. No, Susan? I I, well, I'm sorry, I really can't have that. Boris increased stop and search, murder rates fell drastically, um, London was a far wealthier city when he actually left. He cut road traffic fatalities. He um, he built far more affordable homes than than you did. I mean, look at look at Khan. He's broken his promises. Whether it's two million trees that he said he'd, he'd put in and he hasn't. Mm. No strikes he promised. Well, yeah. And know, what about this whole idea, yeah. Ken? What about this whole idea, Ken, that Sadiq Khan sees himself as a political commentator in a way? He's not about all Londoners. He's about a narrow subset of Londoners. So he attacks Donald Trump. He he boxes up the Winston Churchill statue at Westminster. He doesn't support our police. It's wrong, isn't it? We don't want a mayor who's a political commentator. We want a mayor who represents all of us, Ken. I think he, he, he does commentating. All, all politicians do that. But to criticise Donald Trump, I think that's a very sensible thing to do. I mean, he was a disaster. The simple fact is he's having to cope he's with the a much... American president on a state visit to the capital city. Show some respect. Yeah. And you know what, Ken? I actually think when you were mayor, you would have shown respect. Actually, yes, he would. What for Donald Trump? Yes. No, I think Donald. I Trump's think you would have shown disaster. respect because when you were mayor, you stopped a lot of your freelance uh, political commentary because you understood that you had to represent all Londoners. Yeah, I had to work with the government, and of yeah. course, Tony Blair had done everything possible to try and stop me becoming <laughs> yes, mayor. He had. But then we worked he out. You. We got a very good working relationship. An awful lot yeah. was done. London um, improved. But the thing that was most no, significant... No, I'm not disagreeing with that, Ken. I thought you were a good mayor, but look, actually. If you look at it, those 10,000 extra police that I recruited, crime came down massively. And now, of course, under this government, I mean, police numbers are down. Crime's gone up. And that's the important thing. Public spending creates a better life um, for everybody in this city. OK, well, I think when you look at the spending from this government, it's at record highs. But fascinating debate. That was former Mayor of London, Ken Livingston, and the leader of the London Assembly Conservative Group, Susan Hall. Thank you to both of you.